Oh, that's good. Yo, what's good everyone? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. As you can see from the title, we are back again with yet another review. Now, in today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a shoe that released here a couple of weeks ago, but has actually yet to release in other parts of the world. So technically, I'm going to call this an early look, but it isn't technically at the same time. I'm really excited to be doing this video right now, so I don't want to make this intro any longer than it needs to be. I just want to welcome back all of my returning subscribers. And if you're new around here and you haven't done so already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Now, if you do want to reach out to me for any reason, you can find me most active on Instagram under ACS Sneakers. And now we've got all of that out of the way. Sit back, relax, and let's go ahead and dive straight into this video. So to kick off this review, just like we always do, let's just take a quick look at the packaging. Now the box itself is actually pretty standard. We do see this specific type of box with quite a few different Jordan releases. Now across the front of the box, we just mainly get that all black color. And in the center of the box itself, we do get that Air Jordan branding. And we do also get that red Jumpman in there as well. Hopefully that's focusing. If we then take a quick look at the label, which reads, we have the Air Jordan 11 Retro Law in the black, gym red, white, sale colorway. And this is a personal pair as it is a UK size nine. Hopefully that'll focus as well. Now I do know that this hasn't actually released in the States as yet. I believe the release date is actually the 14th of May. So if you do want to legit check it, now's a good time to do it because that's the label as it should look. And I actually got this pair directly from sneakers. So, you know, if you did want to see it, that was your option to do that. Now, if we do just pop open the top, because this is a pop top box, we do just get your pretty standard tissue paper in here. And then underneath that, we have the kicks. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the shoes. So without any further ado, in hand, we have the Air Jordan 11 Law 72 and 10 at last. Now I say at last because this is actually the second pair of these that I had to order from sneakers. Fortunately enough here in the UK, there isn't really a lot of appreciation for the Jordan 11 Law. So in more sizes, this has been sitting for at least a week or two weeks at this point. <clears throat> now, when I eventually got around to ordering my pair, I did take a couple of days to consider whether this was actually a shoe I even wanted or even wanted to review. Uh, I decided I wanted them, so I ended up ordering them. And wouldn't you know it, the delivery company that was supposed to deliver them, Herms or Every as it's now called, decided that they wanted to nick them for themselves. So that pair ended up getting pinched and I had to go through contacting Nike who were honestly great with me to be honest. They refunded me straight away and even gave me a 20% discount which meant that I actually managed to get these under retail at about £135. I know this is like I say a little bit early for you guys over in the States and a lot of you guys who watch my videos are from the States. So hopefully I can give you the best possible look at this shoe before it is scheduled to release to help you decide if this is actually a shoe you want for your own collection as well. So just diving straight into this one, starting out with the upper to begin with. Now to the untrained eye, the upper on this shoe just looks like any ordinary standard Jordan 11 low. But let me be the first to tell you that the quality of materials for this one is just absolutely incredible. At the base of the shoe, we have this really nice, lightly tumbled, genuine black leather. And when I say the quality of leather on this shoe is good, it is honestly probably some of the best leather I've had on any Jordan shoe this year. It's not often we give them praise, so I definitely wanted to highlight that, that the leather quality, just from my own personal opinion, is actually really good for this one. Now around the shoe on the mudguard, we have that pretty standard patent leather look. Unless you're looking at the IE Jordan 11 lows, it generally does come with this patent leather. But instead of it being that traditional patent leather that we're used to seeing, there's actually a really nice texture to it, which even gives the patent leather a really nice shimmer. I'm not sure if that's the same with the mid tops as well, because unfortunately, I've never had a pair of them in hand. I've never even seen a pair in person, but I wasn't expecting this texture in. I think it looks absolutely incredible. Gives the shoe a really nice look that I, I wasn't expecting, but I'm definitely all for it. I think it genuinely adds a, a lot of nice value to the shoe. As we then work our way further back and actually work our way into the midfoot, we then have these felt straps on either side, which actually connect into the laces. And then as we do actually work our way onto the heel, we have this really nice felt-like fabric. Now on the heel itself, we do have that red Jumpman, which has actually been placed really nicely in the center of the heel. 
And then at the top portion of the heel, we do have that 2-3 branding as well. To be honest, I'm not actually sure if the Jumpman and the 23 will fall off with like genuine wear and tear. I guess you just have to be a little bit careful as to how you actually put the shoe on. But I think just from an aesthetics point of view, that really nice pop of red, that 23 at the top, it just looks absolutely incredible. And then if we do the circle our way back into the center of the shoe, we just get your pretty standard black rope shoelaces. And then the lace themselves do sit atop more of that really nice leather on the tongue. Running across the center of the tongue, we do have the Jumpman Jordan branding with the red Jumpman in there as well. But if we do actually flip the tongue over and take a look at the back tab, we do actually have a really nice patch. And the patch actually reads, inspired by the most historic season, led by the greatest player ever. On one side we have 72 and on the other side we do have 10, which is of course what the shoe is all about. This is the 72 and 10s. For those of you that don't know, Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls did go 72 and 10 in the NBA season, but I'm not necessarily a historian on all things Michael Jordan or Chicago Bulls, but it is a really good story and you know, that's just a play on for that. But if we then just actually work our way onto the inside of the shoe, we have this really nicely padded all black sock liner. And then if we do work our way even further inside the shoe, we do actually have a polyurethane insole for extra comfort again. And it's been done in that mostly black color with the red Jumpman as well. Always nice to see. Now, if we do work our way back onto the outside, we do have this Phylon midsole. Within the midsole itself, we do also have full length air as well for anyone who is interested. And then if we do the switch over to the outsole of the shoe, we have this absolutely beautiful semi-translucent milky colored outsole with the black traction pods at the four foot and heel. And then we do also have a full length carbon fiber spring plate, which you can see is in that black and red checkered pattern. And then just in terms like the overall sizing, just a touch on it, when it does come to the sizing for the Jordan 11, whether it be the mid tops or the low tops, I do always go true to size. I tried these on before I sat down to do the review and I definitely feel like true to size is gonna be your best bet. If you size differently in Jordan 11s from previous 11s you've had, like I say, mid tops or low tops, just go with whatever you would normally wear in the Jordan 11, and I do think that that will be the best outcome for you. And other than that, we've just about covered everything that's worth mentioning with this shoe. So if we now just go ahead and wrap up this video. So just to wrap up this video, in terms of my overall opinion on the shoe itself, to give these a rating, I'm going with a really solid 8.5 out of 10. I'm really glad that I definitely decided to pick these up. The only reason I was a little bit on the fence is I picked up quite a few shoes recently. Most recently, we picked up the Air Jordan 2s, and they're a little bit pricey and you know, I'm not a millionaire, I don't have a, an unlimited amount to spend, so sometimes I gotta be a little bit careful. But I'm definitely really glad that I managed to pick these up and managed to pick them up under retail as well, which is always really nice. I'd love to get your guys' opinion on it as well, so do leave me your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you are from the US or elsewhere, are you looking to pick these up when they do eventually drop? Do let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And if you have stuck around to this point in the video, I just want to say a massive thank you. If you haven't already, please feel free to smash that subscribe button. Also, do make sure the bell notification is switched on so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you all again in the next one.